do that a couple of times, we'll be standing up with that single leg. Who's that? Connor. I say, who do you, who's you want to win Connor already? You can say Connor. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm here for UFC 205, Conor Brown Meehan, to be a training partner for his next fight to make history and win uh, two belts. So I'm here helping Conor in uh, training, you know, just I'm here for him, you know, like I have his back, as I said, and he has my back. So whenever he needs me, I'm there, and he, if I need him, he's there for me. So I'm here to help him for his fight. I always say he's an animal. Like people underrate his ground game. You know what I mean? I think he's gonna show how good he is on the ground. You know, he has a great coach, John Kavanaugh. He's a technician on the ground, like so technical. I can't even explain. That's all he is. He just all he does is think in all positions. He's amazing. He and Ogi. So he's a very well-rounded jiu-jitsu player. Just hasn't came out yet. You know what I mean? But I, I feel like he's gonna prove. <laughs> He'll, he'll prove how good he is on the ground, you know? One fight doesn't mean nothing. Two fights, you know, that, that's nothing. Look at jiu-jitsu guys, how many matches they have. You know, guys' records are like 70 and 40 or something. So, you know, you're not, it doesn't mean anything, you know what I mean? This is a different side of the game than he's used to also. We've been in here and we've been fighting. We haven't been slacking off on him. We've been putting him into uncomfortable situations as well. A lot of times. Fighters come from a grappling base. Not many of them at all adjust to a full fight, to a free fight. Uh, I just think that's because of their preparation. It's a little bit more touch and flow 95% of the time, which is great. But you start adding blows into the shot, in, into the equation, you start adding elbows, knees. All of a sudden, everything changes in the game. So we've been putting him in these uncomfortable situations. He's only young. He's only 22, 23, but he's a big boy. The boy is an animal. When the boy switches it on, he switches it on. So, um, I'm looking forward to seeing how he gets on. If he wants to do MMA, I'll, I'll more than happily guide him in, the, in that part. I've, I've helped many <clears throat> before him, and I'll help, help many after him climb them ranks and skill them on how, how, what it takes in this business. So, um, he's just enjoying himself right now. That's, that's a dangerous fight right there, a fighter that's enjoying himself. No stress, no worries. Yeah. All he got to do is worry about his rest, and his next uh, next training session. So. Now the grappling community trying to say I can't grapple, but that's not just the grappling community. The boxing community say I can't box. The kickboxing community say I can't kick. The wrestling community say I can't wrestle. Well, I say to all them communities, let's fight. Oh no no no. Well, well only under this specific rule say. Well well there you go. I don't need rules. So. That's my answer to that, bro. I truly love jiu-jitsu. I think jiu-jitsu, you know, my coach, John Cavani, has put so much time in, 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 into my grappling, and into everyone's grappling around the gym. So, when we say what they say, I don't, uh, I, I don't like it. I feel, I feel I do have something to prove to, to, the, to my coaches, you know, to, I would like to get in and win some, win some jiu-jitsu tournaments. I, and number one is they're fun. They're a hell of a lot of fun. I, I went to, I've done a few now, I've done the Europeans, gi, no gi. Um, all these rule sets and everything, I felt screwed me the last time. Because yeah. I got a guy's back, we scrambled, he stood to his feet and I was on his back, but we went out of bounds. And then it was like reset, and we reset and he just jumps into close guard. And I'm like, well, I had his back. But whatever, these are things that, that I, I didn't understand about the rules. So again, I don't, whatever, but they're, they're a hell of a lot of fun. You meet great people. That, Big crowds. I'd love to do it. Maybe, maybe, maybe somewhere in the future I'll, I'll compete. Right now, got a hell of a lot on my plate. Um, second, second world title in the UFC, and we're preparing for that.